Uh, Keith? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hi, it's Candace. Candace, yes, Candace. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Candace. Um, I um, I have a, a resume. A resume. Maybe you wanted one from um, Craigslist. That's um, right. Mm -hmm. I just got to let you know I haven't updated it for a while. Uh, long story. I don't have a printer, and uh, I don't know. I my whole computer. Well, that's okay. You already got the job. I already got the job. Well, I mean, there's a lot to it, but there's really not a lot to it. Why? You don't even know me. Well, let's just say you don't look homeless. That's a good start. <laughs> yes, I don't look like a homeless person yet. I mean, if I don't get a job or a job soon, I'm like going to be so homeless. You did not need to hear that. It's a job interview. I should really keep my mouth shut. I'm not really like that in the real profession, you know? Well, no, 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 no. I, I, I mean, this job is all about appearances, right? No one wants to buy a celebrity tour off of someone who who can barely afford to wash themselves. Right. I see what you mean. And you know what? I have good soap. I can wash. Every day. Good, 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 good. Good soap. Good soap's important. It's that's, good that's, to have that's good great. soap. Smell good. Smelling good. <laughs> um, yeah, well, so, um, good. Uh, well, in here I have... Oh. Oh, gosh. I thought I had some brochures in here, but geez, I'm so sorry. This never happens before. Um, uh, you know what? Let's just imagine you have a brochure. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm good at imagining and improvising. Like, okay. that's good. Good, good, good. So what you would basically be doing is you'd be out on Hollywood Boulevard handing out brochures. Have you ever been to Hollywood Boulevard? Oh yeah, I go there all the time. Like I was just there the other day. I live yeah. right beside it. There's lots of people. Yeah, lots of people. From all sorts of places. Yes. Places like uh, uh, France, Switzerland, uh, China, London, Russia, Germany, Australia. It's, it's, it's a very mix. Yes, I know what you mean. I was just there the other day and there was this German lady that just came straight up to me. She thought that I was German, you know, and she started saying um, Sprechen Sie Deutsch or so. It was like a lot of throat stuff. And like, I thought in that moment, I'd be very good with tourists because I don't look American. Like I could look like uh -huh. I could pass off like a German or just different nationalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. It's good to know all those phrases. You know, it's good for the, it's good for the tips. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, well, let me just explain to you how this works. Uh, being a tour guide is a lot like um, storytelling. Have you ever had someone tell you stories when you were a kid? Oh yeah, a lot. Like, like say, a, say a grandmother. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, my grandma, she was a psycho, but my mom, on the other hand, like, she would tell me stories so beautiful. Good. So she would she would tell you stories, and it would it kind of give you that little tingling feeling, you know, in, in your heart, and kind of flutter. Yes, yeah. yes, I remember that. Yeah, it's kind of how we want the tourists to feel. Wow, that's really nice. You want the tourists to feel that way, because this job is commission-based, which means oh mm -hmm. oh oh mm -hmm. so this is like it's just tips just tips oh so like basically if i suck i'm like gonna go home with nothing like make no money right oh god jobs are like that these days yeah they are yeah you have to you have to earn those tips god you, know, yeah. you have to be good then right uh-huh you do you really do so good uh well you know i like you and um Oh, geez, I wish I had these brochures. It'd be easier to explain it to you. Hmm. I have an idea. Yeah? Let's take a drive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's take a drive and explain it on the road. Okay, so like, like a Hollywood tour trial? Like a trial. Yeah. A trial tour. Let's go. Come on. Up the rails on a crazy train. Okay. Yeah. Like this. This looks great. Yeah. This'll do. This'll do. Okay. So there's an art to storytelling. Basically, what you want to do is you want to pinpoint your home, right? This is where it's up to you. What does that look like to you? It looks like a really, really beautiful home. Oh look everyone! This is Keanu Reeves' home! Yes, ladies and gentlemen! Look at the design structure of the house. 
It looks very gothic-y, very grungy. Look at the details of the off-black fencing, right? Right. Yes. The reason why that is, ladies and gentlemen, that is because it reminds you of The Matrix. Boom! See what I did there? I pinpoint. I get to the movies. That way people know them, right? And then there's this sort of a grungy looking feel to it. Like the design of the windows. Maybe it's because while he was filming Constantine, he had them design the windows. See what I did there? You build it. You build it so that the audience believes it. Wait a minute, so Keanu Reeves, he doesn't really live there and they didn't really make his windows? We want to tell ourselves he did. Oh. It's the act of storytelling. We want to believe it ourselves because you're going to get so good at it that you actually believe yourself. Oh, right. So it's kind of like acting. Like you, you believe that you're the character. Exactly. Kind of like acting. You see that over there? This house? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who lives there? Oh, um, I, I don't know. Well, in 1955, Marilyn Monroe used this house as a visiting stay. Mm -hmm. She fell in love with the wide open architecture and the inside features light embellishments and jeweled interiors which made her feel like she was at the perfect getaway. Wow. <laughs> you make that sound like, I don't know, I want to go in there and right? see it. Oh yeah. Oh, let me show you another one. Good one. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so like what's this all about? Okay, sometimes you want to mix things up a little bit by explaining who lives behind the shrub. What A-list celebrity lives there? Say, someone like Justin Timberlake lives there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he would totally live behind mm -hmm. a shrub. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 mm. But you want to be careful with the, with the too richer of a looking place. Yeah, you want to, you want to pick the right place for the right star. So if I'm traveling through the neighborhood, which is, is, is fancy, but not too fancy, you, you might want to drop it down a little bit to like a, like a B list or a C list celebrity. Say someone like, oh, say someone like a B list star. Um, like Christian Slater, Christian Slater. Good, good. Yes. Which is far more believable than, than say, say an A list celebrity, somebody Leonardo DiCaprio? Leonardo DiCaprio! <laughs> You're so good at this! I love it! Oh, but that reminds me, you also want to stick to your story too, though. Because you never know, you might have somebody on the, on the same tour again that already took the tour before, and well, we know what happens. Oh yeah, that could get really bad. Like, if you don't stick to your story and they take it again, like, you could totally get caught out. Right, right. So, so make sure Make sure you're sticking to your story. You get all creative in the beginning and then boom, you got it all mapped out, right? You got it right the first time and, and you got your, we should get you personal brochures. Personal brochures? I get personal brochures? Yes, personal brochures. Can I get like my own um, Hollywood tour guide name? Sure. Like a different name? I could be like Chelsea, the tour guide. Chelsea it is. It's like Hollywood Chelsea. Yes! yes. This is exciting. <laughs> cool.